I'm going to show you how to amplify audio in Premiere Pro. And the good news, it's really, really easy. Here is a piece of video with two little bits of audio on two separate tracks. They're both at different levels. And the important thing here is to watch the levels meters over to the bottom right. <laughs> Okay, so we can see clearly levels are hitting just over minus six, maybe even minus three here inside Premiere. But when I get onto the second clip here, we're struggling to get to minus 18. So we're looking at a real deficit there of, well, around about 12 dB. So what I could do, there are many ways I can go ahead and do this, but the first way is to go into the audio workspace, which is up here and we'll click audio that way i can then work with all my audio tracks and here audio track 2 is the one i'm working with i want to switch to the audio track mixer view up here and i can simply go ahead and just grab the volume knob on track 2 and i can push it up by 12 db i can even type in there 12 db to be exact and then let's see the levels meters now and the second clip That's much better. That's much more like it, isn't it? We got both clips exactly the same volume level simply by making a small adjustment in the audio workspace here inside Premiere. But maybe we want to do it another way. There are certainly other ways we can go about doing this. And I'm going to tell you now how you can go ahead and make those changes. The next way, I'm going to just undo what I've done, Control or Command Z to undo those audio changes. And let's look at this clip and let's really make it bigger by opening up this and looking at the how loud that is compared to how loud this clip is. You can you can definitely see the difference there if we're working between the two. I can go ahead and grab this volume handle here and I can switch this up by, well, a maximum of 15 dB. So again, I'll get the same effect looking at the volume levels here, nearly minus three. And here's still a bit of a deficit, so I can probably go ahead and further push that gain up to get near minus three. And then we've got both audio clips about the same volume. So that's another way of doing it. But there is one more way that I really want to show you to amplify audio, and it's super easy. So again, Control or Command Z to undo all my changes there. Back to normal. I can tell there's no change to the clip because the effects has gone from yellow to gray now. And now I can work by selecting each clip and hitting the G key. And I remember G, it means gain. G is gain. And there we go. Adjust gain by, and you can say a certain dB. So I can type 12 again here. But a better method, and probably my favorite method of adjusting amplitude in Premiere Pro is simply by normalizing. I do this a lot when I'm working with audio in Audition, and I highly recommend you try it in Premiere. So if you go normalize max peak two, zero dB is good. You probably want to leave a bit of headroom so it's not right up at the top. So maybe minus one or minus three. I'm going to be safe and say minus three dB. And you'll see that that doesn't change much. But look at this clip when I go G and then type in minus three is the value. That one now normalizes to minus three. So now we've got levels meters at nearly minus three there. And very nearly minus three there. So that works absolutely perfectly. And seeing as I've got you and you're really enjoying these tips if you've made it this far in the video, take a look at this bonus tip over in Essential Sound. I can select both my audio clips. I can label them as music over here in Essential Sound, which becomes available to you when you're in the audio workspace over here. So if I label them both as music and then go straight up to the very top where it says loudness and I go auto match loudness, it's going to run a loudness algorithm on both clips and make them exactly the same perceived loudness to the ear. So it's probably the most accurate way of getting all your audio clips at the same amplitude inside Premiere Pro. If you've got any questions about Premiere or anything else related to audio, let me know in the comments down below and make sure to check my other videos on Adobe Premiere Pro so you can get your videos sounding great.